Hello and welcome back to some more Genshin Impact. So I'm going to be uh, starting the quest, The Golden Apple Vacation Returns. Go to the Adventures Guild in Mondstadt. As summer comes into its own, you receive a mysterious letter. To whomsoever finds this letter, the sender seems to be waiting for someone. Uh, and that's obviously the timed event. So let's talk to Catherine here. And start it up. Uh, traveler, it so happens that a friend of yours asked me to pass on a message when I saw you. Mm -hmm. Someone left a message for us? Huh, who could it be? Who knows? My beloved retainer, have you noticed that silver thread of which fate is woven, now twisting and twining itself around you? The Aug de Vertalung does... <laughs> does... Yeah, that's special. Grossen Kaleido Phantasmus will be watching you. <sighs> yeah, I I'd have the same reaction. Apologies. Huh. This message is unusually difficult to recite. Would you like to hear more? Uh, definitely sounds like Fischl's note. What should we do? I'd love to hear more. <laughs> we'll be watching you as you step into the glorious castle of the Immer Nachreich. Come to me at once. Swear an oath to me in my blessed name. And we shall journey together to the depths of the world. Uh -huh. Anyway, to summarize... Miss Fischl asked me to ask you to go to the plaza in front of the cathedral. Okay, easy enough. Please meet her there when you have the time. She said that she will be waiting for you. Oh, Fischl. <laughs> such a mystifying message for such a plain and simple request. Uh-huh. Well, if Fischl's expecting us, then let's not keep her waiting. Let's head towards the cathedral plaza. Yep, right away. Okay. There she is! And Mona, too! I saw her, yeah. Oh! Welcome, welcome, most loyal attendants of the Princessin. Uh, oh, Fischl, I, Fischl, Princessin, de Oh my goodness, you can read this if you want to. Which one is it, retainer or attendant? Make up your mind. <laughs> My apologies. Main Fräulein tends to use exaggerated expressions when she's in good spirits. Hey, Fischl! You were looking for us, right? Sounds like the fun started without us. What's got you in such a good mood? Nice to see you all again. It's been a while. And so, the Whisper of Eternal Night summons you back to my side. <laughs> Splendid. What a blessed reunion. A boon from beyond the eventide. Come. Partake of this joy with me, my subjects. Traveler, Paimon, it's a pleasure to see you again. Main Fräulein and I extend to you our most sincere greetings. Oh, yeah, he's supposed to be, like, uh, translating for her, I guess. Paimon wants to say a proper hello, too, but Paimon has no idea how to, uh, partake. <laughs> A normal person in the situation would simply say, Hi, Traveler, how have you been? Uh, fine, thanks. <laughs> the Traveler and I are like intertwined stars in the vast galaxy. You of all people should very well know the fate foretold by this meeting. <laughs> Precisely. Lady Magistus, please refrain from such unimaginative utterances. Lady M Mag... A what now? Is that your new nickname? <laughs> Lady Magistus has long since become a citizen of the Imanachreich. She has been serving as court archmage under one's command for some time now. Uh -huh. <laughs> That's just my surname. Don't mind that. <laughs> this is so embarrassing. <laughs> You're here because Fischl asked Catherine to ask you to sense. come, right? Indeed so, my archmage. Did even this appear in thy divination? Why, your powers are truly dangerous. Oh, for the love of... No, of course not. You told me yourself that you'd left a message with Catherine. <laughs> of course she did. <sighs> Excuse me. Anyway, in my case, she practically beat the door down to get me to come along. Whatever she says, please, don't be too astonished. Uh, okay. Ah, uh, don't worry. We've been around the block. You can't phase us. Hmm. Oh, faithful servants, one's homeland, the Immanachreich, 
which bears the darkest of all fates, draws near to this world once more. Stand with me in anticipation, for the glory of our kingdom is nigh. Uh... Huh. We what? Indeed. Only one's most faithful envoys are fortunate enough to be privy to this great revelation. <clears throat> the Imanok Reich is near Mondstadt. Okay, I'll report this to the Knights of Fafonius immediately. No, please. That will be most unnecessary. I know it sounds absurd, but there's actually something behind this, I promise. Basically, what Fischl means is... Oh, <laughs> Lady Magistus! Uh... Uh, all right, all right. Honestly, look at me. A genius astrologist forced into a juvenile role-playing game. The truth is that yesterday, Her Highness encountered the Spark Knight Klee outside of the city. Uh -huh. Both being of great fame, they recognized one another instantly and began to converse. If they start referring to each other by their nicknames and stuff, I don't know if I'm going to be able to keep up. It was already getting dark, so, in that spirit of great compassion and care for which she is known, Her Highness personally accompanied Klee back to Mondstadt. Or maybe, uh, title is more appropriate than nickname. On the way, Her Highness relayed to Klee the story of her origins. Upon hearing the tragic tale of the fall of Her Highness's homeworld, the tender-hearted Spark Knight inquired, with tears welling up in her eyes. Oh no, is the Imanok Reich really gone? Won't it grow back? <laughs> oh mortal, your sovereign's heart is touched by thy sincerity and sympathy. But nay, the Imanok Reich is an everlasting realm, and one day, it shall make its reappearance. Huh. Really? So how do we make your homeland grow back again? Oh please tell me, please, please. <laughs> Since you inquire so earnestly, <clears throat> give unto me a tranquil haven, promise me eternal admiration, lend me both time and wind, and one shall revive one's homeworld. Uh huh. Could you cut the reenactments and just get to the point? In short, Klee gave Fischl an island to serve as the promised land where the Immernal Crash will appear. Oh. I didn't believe it either at first, but then I saw this letter. Yeah, that's the Golden Apple Archipelago. Esteemed princess in, of the Imanarch... Ah, I can't say that. I am a witch who travels amidst the mountains and rivers of Tavat. I write to you, having heard from my young daughter that your kingdom has fallen and that you are searching for a way to restore it. Amid the seas under a far-flung sky, may the Golden Apple Archipelago be found. If this masterless land can assist in the restoration of your highness's realms, that would be most wonderful. Providence okay. has gifted Main Fräulein with an excellent opportunity. Esteemed traveler, as Main Fräulein's cherished retainer, you deserve to bear witness to this grand moment with us. Sure. This island looks kind of familiar. Um, uh... Traveler, curtail thy umming and awing at once. The throne of the Imanok Reich calls for me. Come, be my blade. Clear the way and witness what is to come. Okay. I... I think she just wants to invite you along to the island with her. <sighs> that being said, I have a feeling that I'll be better off not performing any divination where that island's concerned. Huh? Why not? Yeah, why? <laughs> Klee is involved in this, which means her mother is probably involved, which means that old hag is involved. <sighs> thanks, but no thanks. Uh, what can I do for you, your highness? You, who have traveled to the farthest reaches of the world, fathom the celestial path of stardust in the palm of your hand, and witness raindrops converge and become one with the undercurrent of destiny. You, yes you... Must chart the course that leads the way to the land promised to main Fräulein by fate. That's easy enough. Oh, Fischl doesn't know the way there! I knew it. <laughs> I didn't know um, it, but... What? for our help. Paimon can tell us, you, that we are good friends with the Spark Knight Klee, the Guides of Destiny. Paimon, uh, seriously? Oh, come on, just play along. Uh, 
very well. I am the one whom hath traveled here from beyond the stars. Behold, the watcher, the guide, the weaver of dreams, the traveler. Uh-huh. <laughs> excellent, most excellent. The camera changed there. A crowd of bemused monsters watches on as the spectacle continues for another half to hour. To sum up, <laughs> Traveler, since you say you know the way, we'll let you take us to the island. I mean, the promised land. Uh, for the princess and... Oh, good, fine, done. Uh, right now, um, Lady Magistus needs to go home to pack her things and catch up on some sleep. Your Highness, your... Uh, other distinguished selves, let's meet at the city gate at nine o'clock tomorrow morning. Okay. Very well. Then it is settled. One blesses you with an undisturbed slumber, Lady Magistus. Main Fräulein means to say good night. See you all tomorrow. Okay. About darn time. Good night. Good night. I'll fast forward the time and everything. It was weird how the like camera focused in like that during that <gasps> short Hymon's section. Uh, you all have proper rules. How come Paimon has to be a clock on the wall in the royal palace? <laughs> Huh. Okay. Paimon, you're the one who started it. <laughs> anyway, since those islands are a pretty mind-blowing place, why don't we get some people with mind-boggling ideas to help us out? Okay. Kaya's mind works in mysterious ways, but no one in Mondstadt has ideas that boggle the mind quite like... I'm trying to think. Somebody who's definitely going to be in the tavern at this hour. Come on, let's go rope him into helping us. D Luke? Okay, sure. The Golden Apple Vacation returns. So off to the tavern we go. Okay, who are we meeting? We're here! Turn that oh, him. I should have guessed it would be Venti. I don't know why I didn't think about Venti as being a possibility. Anyways, uh, so those two are here as well. What are they doing in Mondstadt? I'm not too surprised by, uh, by Kazaha appearing because I knew that he was on that banner, but I forgot that she was also on there. Well, look at that. You're really here. Come on, take a seat and join our delightful conversation. Wow, Traveler Paimon! Speak of the devil, we were literally just talking about you. <laughs> Truly a curious coincidence. Kazuha? Shinya? What are you doing here in a Mondstadt tavern? And how'd you end up having to share a table with the tone deaf bard? Now that is a good question. Tone deaf bard? <laughs> now that's a fun stage name. It seems like you're a pretty well-known singer, fella. Though sadly not a rock and roll singer, or we could perform a duet. So, you all know each other. My newfound friends are my old friends' friends from afar. <laughs> How fantastic. Hmm. This is a rare opportunity indeed. Oh, we should form a poetry club and call it, uh, the Free Poet Society, or something like that. You guys came here from Liu, eh? Yeah, I felt like getting out and finding some new inspiration for my songwriting. Kazaha felt like going on a trip too, so we figured we'd travel together. Last month, Beto held a big booze-filled party called the Drink Till You Sink Championship, and she put me in charge of the music. And that's where I met Kazaha. Although Xinyan can come across as unruly at times, her musical understanding is highly nuanced and original. Safe to say, our shared appreciation for music struck a chord in us both. Oh, <laughs> you okay. can say that again. In Kazaha's hands, even a leaf becomes an instrument. That makes him an expert among my friends. Starting from Liyue, we passed through Stone Gate and kept going till we came into Mondstadt. Then along the way, we saw this really awesome manor. It was something else. <laughs> oh, yeah, we know the one. My friend owns that place. Yeah, d -Luke. Really? Y'all sure have a lot of friends. Well, whoever it is that lives in that fine place must be really loving life, huh? Uh, yes, so. 
Uh, I don't know, actually. Similar souls tend to attract each other. Traveler and Paimon, you must have exceptional taste, just like that friend of yours. Wow, you're too nice! Unlike some people who only ever seem to poke fun at Paimon. Ahem. <laughs> By the way, do you know anything about the Iridescence Tour? It's supposed to be huge. Rumor has it that all seven nations of Tevat are gonna be involved. Uh, never heard of it? Well, so far it's mostly just empty promises. Anyway, it's supposed to be a music festival. The organizer really did a number on me last time. They canceled on me. But I hear that they're still active. I'd love to huh. give the festival another shot. But wouldn't you know it, the plans fell through again. How can they mess up this bad twice in a row? Music is all about inspiration. Maybe the organizers canceled the show because theirs dried up. Hmm. But fear not, weary travelers, for your journey was not in vain. It has, after all, brought you here, to me, to the Temple of Music. Your Temple of Music must have more than just good tunes. You're a bard, ain't you? A song's gotta have a good story or it doesn't make the cut, right? <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Oh, you understand the meaning of being a bard so well. To express my gratitude, I will even share one of these stories with you. Oh? <laughs> oh, you're a funny fella. Are all bards like you? What story is that? I've met many bards during my travels, but none of them are as entertaining as you. <laughs> I'm sure it all comes down to the richness of my imagination and, by extension, the poverty of theirs. And on that note, here is a fantastical tale that is sure to delight you all. Is it going to switch over to a cutscene like one of those really fancy animated ones? We'll find out in a second. Legends tell of an emerald isle in the middle of the ocean. There. The Dodo King and his people live a blissful existence. What a coincidence. He's talking about the Golden Apple Archipelago. When a Dodoko is born, it dives into the water. Some learn to swim. Others are carried away by the waves, all the way to Mondstadt, where they befriend the children there. One Dodoko made a new friend in Mondstadt, the little Spark Knight. But the Dodo King did not approve. He demanded that the little knight come to the island and prove herself to him. <laughs> so the little knight, together with her most important friend in the world, braved the wind and waves, finally reaching the middle of the ocean. But Dodo King was not there. Dodo King had lied. There was <laughs> no trial, by fire or interrogation. The little knight's mother, who was a mage, had built an entire summer city there as a gift to her daughter. Along with this message, summer is the season of love. It is the time for freedom and fun. So everyone, please sing, dance, and enjoy yourselves here. Yeah, I, I guess that's their way of reminding us a little bit of uh, what happened last time. The end. Yay. And <laughs> of one guy clapping. Uh, okay. Strange. I was just about to ask about the island. Yeah, that is strange, isn't it? What a coincidence. It's almost like Fenty knows something. How interesting. I now have the urge to visit that island myself. This is the thing about traveling. You can't plan ahead. Better to leave when the mood takes you and go where the heart leads. <laughs> I'm glad you liked it. Well, there's wine on the table, and I have stories to tell. Seems like fate is feeling kind today. Here's to music. Come on, traveler. Don't worry. If you don't like wine, there's juice as well. In that case, I'll have a glass of juice. Hmm. Huh. This one. I like the color. You, somehow you get dragged into drinking one glass after another until... This fella's drunk, but, uh, wasn't he drinking fruit juice? <laughs> more. More, 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 more. <laughs> more, more, 
please. <laughs> I'm just waiting. Okay, there we go. Oops, I think I accidentally placed some fruity cocktails out there. <laughs> My bad. Uh huh, sure. Seriously? Anyway, guess it's time to talk about business after all that drinking. You came here because you need my help, I presume? Yep. Oh, yeah! That's a good point! We didn't come here to drink. Uh, Venti, come with me. Are we going outside again? Oh. Let's talk to, uh, her very fast, Shinyan. Kazuha? Kazuha! Oh, he just won't wake up. <laughs> Looks like we're staying in the tavern tonight. <laughs> okay. Let's talk to him again. Er, well, let's talk to Kazuma. Kazuma? Kaz okay. That's the same response. Now, where is Venti? Is he upstairs? Oh, yeah, he is upstairs. Hmm, look where we are. Yup. I can sense that you're about to tell me something very interesting. As if you didn't already know. You tell Venti about the Spark Knight giving an island to Fischl. Did he Fischl. get a special gift from her mother to an adventurer friend? Oh, she's such a kind-hearted child. As I'm sure you've already guessed, that letter is most definitely written by Alice. Yeah, that's so. Uh-huh. Speaking of, guess which two people I ran into on my way to the tavern today? Alice's Cleef's mother, for those who may not remember. Hmm, Master Jean? Or Lisa? A mother and daughter, both with long elf ears and the most amazingly adorable personalities. Okay, Clee and Alice. Alice and Clee? Or Alice and Clee, if you want to refer to them that way, yeah. Ding, ding, ding! Correct answer! I don't think we've ever met Alice before. The unaging mage was taking her teeny tiny knight on a vacation, and I happened to run into them. As a friendly greeting, the mysterious woman gave me a gift. She also said that if I meet any fun friends, I should share this gift with them. So now it's yours to keep. Okay, thank you. Ah, it's a bomb! Okay, never mind. No, thank you. Minus the fuse. So don't worry. It's not going to explode. Come on, take it. <laughs> this way, we can talk to each other just like this, even when we're apart. Oh, is it like some kind of communication device? Wow, that sounds impressive. It's called a dodo communication device, and it allows <laughs> people to stay in touch over vast distances. However, you can't just use it any time you want, and there's also a limit on the number of times you can use it. That's why it's currently only available to a certain select few. Oh, well, that kind of sucks. I heard that the inspiration for this comes from another world. <laughs> Alice is always full of surprises. Hmm. She and Clee asked me to tell you. Uh -huh. Please take this with you when you depart for the island. No, wait. The promised land with your friends. And have fun. Don't worry about how to get there. The organizers of this vacation have made arrangements. Turn right after you exit the city gates, and you'll see something that will make you very happy. Okay. Sounds like the two of you are in cahoots over this. Yeah, it definitely does. <laughs> of course not. Is that really the sort of person you think I am? Absolutely. Traveler, you're my friend. And as your friend, I just want to give you something that'll make you happy. How can you think this of me? All right, I'll go. Ah, fair enough. The Toad Death Guard does like to joke around, but he's still one of our best friends. Besides, a vacation sounds great. <laughs> Actually, Kazuha and Shinyan seem pretty interested in coming on this trip, too. Let's ask them if they want to join us. Yeah, I thought that we would. So, are we automatically heading downstairs to ask them? Yep. Wow, they got down the stairs pretty fast. Oh, you're back. Poor Kazuha's still out for the count. Seems like he can't handle alcohol so well. Shinyan, do you want to come to the islands with us? Adventure. Can't. Huh? He doesn't want to go anymore. He seemed really interested just a moment ago. Huh. Can't miss the adventure. Uh, okay, that makes more sense. Oh. <laughs> Kazuha might act mature. 
but deep down he's just another youngster eager for new experiences. That must be why he didn't think anything of the fruit juice earlier. <laughs> well, all the more reason for you to join the island trip. You know, a lot of people have praised the beautiful scenery there, even bards. Okay, sounds like a plan. How do we get there? Uh, probably fly by Flying Dragon, just like the last time. Someone's got it covered, apparently. There'll be a few others joining us on this trip, and we're meeting at the city gate tomorrow morning. We'll wait for you. Hasaha, wake up. We're going wandering. Mm. <laughs> uh -huh. Oh, yeah. They oh. aren't official yet, do they? Okay, so here's the deal. There's a princess from a faraway land in her retinue who are also coming on this trip. Huh? Uh, Paimon, don't get me wrong. I'm just asking to make sure. But from the way you're plugging this trip so hard, uh, did the iridescence tour folks put you up to this? Wait a second. After all, canceling the iridescence tour after people already made the trip, that's kind of the same thing as tricking people into going traveling, ain't it? Hmm. Ugh, why won't anyone believe Paimon? <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry about that for now. You'll all have the chance to get acquainted with each other tomorrow morning. Whether you're a princess, a retainer, a talking raven, a samurai, or a musician, you're all VIP guests of the island on your summer vacation. And that's what counts, right? Sure, but I think you're missing the traveler and his floating companion in there. Oh, I'm sure looking forward to it. Unless the retainer is supposed to be the traveler. In which case he's missing Paimon. Anyways, are you coming too, Venti? Uh, I'll have to pass. I have some work to take care of. I think he passed up last time too. You serious? The Tone Deaf Bard actually has plans to do some work? Yeah, that is a little bit surprising. I promised a young lady with cat ears and a cattail that I'd sing at her tavern to boost business and beat the competition. Ah, yes. <laughs> the competition being this place, which has six-fingered Jose. Aren't you allergic huh. to cats? Yup. <laughs> I can always sing on their roof. She told me that as long as their sales surpass their competitor, there's a whole month's worth of wine in it for me. <laughs> oh, what a fine employment opportunity. Virtually tailor-made for me. So have fun. <laughs> and don't worry about me. <laughs> I feel like this summer is going to be a very interesting one. Okay, see ya, Venti. Today is the day of one's reckoning with fate, as foretold by the night sky. Humiliation suffered in the past, hmm. the shame we have carried all these years. One bids you adieu, for today it is time for retribution. Okay then. Main Fräulein, if I may be so bold, that final phrase did not sound like one of your own. Hmm. Of course it wasn't. I just overheard it from someone in the city. Uh, uh, um, that... I mean, Who? thy princessin is merely drawing on the wisest and courageous saying she has heard in the land to signify the importance of this day. I wonder who said that. Hmm, let me see. Huh, it really is someone else's catchphrase. Huh. And would you tell us who? Well, you're here early. Whatever. I guess we'll find out if we're supposed to. Hi. Who have you brought with you? Oh, ahem. Allow Paimon to introduce to you a fabled wandering swordsman of Inazuma and an enchanting musical talent of Liyue. Hey, I'm Shinyan from Liyue. I like rock and roll, sunny days, and good times. You must be the princess Paimon told us about. You sure do look the part. Uh, I hear you're from a faraway land. It's an honor to be in the company of dignitaries. And this lady over here, my family tells me that only the wisest scholars wear pointed hats like this one. Uh, guess that applies to you too? Oh, I like her. She can stay. Huh. Shen Yan, your gaze pierces the dark veil of night to arrive at the truth beyond. I am in need of one such as yourself. Very well. You shall be one's musician laureate. Uh, She's trying to say thanks. You yeah. said all the right things. Um, and the same goes for me too. Pleasure to meet you. I'm Mona, an astrologist. 
No, oh, well, it's nice to meet you too. Mona is amazing. She can find out everything about you by divination. Oh, then she should use it on Paimon. A princess, an astrologist, and an articulate raven retainer. In the company of giants, my humble self hardly deserves mention. I am Kaida Harakazuha from Inazuma. It is an honor to meet you all. I wonder if news of him uh, doing what he did in Inazuma has reached here. What ho, Kazuha? Divulge thy epithets and thy vocation. Oh, main Fräulein would like to know where you work and what your field of expertise is. Um, I'm afraid I'm just another wanderer. Hmm. This guy is an expert in the sword arts. He parries blades that none have ever parried before and strikes like lightning. Mere mortals could not hope to comprehend. Huh. What? Is he really that powerful? <laughs> Let me take a look. Hmm. Huh? Oh. Oh my. Hmm. Hi, Kazuma. I'm absolutely delighted to meet a great sword master like you. Could we ask you to be our guard while we're on the island? One hereby declares you captain of the royal guard of the Imanakreish. For even Lady Magistus to praise your skills, you are surely one of rare talent. Lady Magistus is absolutely right. Okay, Lady M Mag... <laughs> Lady Magic... What? <laughs> oh, just call me Mona. Stop calling me that weird name. By the way, Lady Magistus, we found out how to get to the promised land. And Paimon does it anyways. A legendary great mage gave us a big hint. Come on, everyone. Follow Paimon. Okay, sure thing. So, it's supposedly off to the right? Oh, it's all the way out there. Oh, wait. It's a balloon. No, wait. Is it a balloon? It's certainly something. It. I, at first I thought it was like a hot air balloon or something, but now I'm starting to worry. What is it? Look, everyone! Here's our vehicle! Yeah, if you can call it that. Mm. And why is it raining all of a sudden? Somehow, I suddenly don't feel like going anymore. Neither would I if it was thunder and lightning like that. What a... Uh... Unique little thing. Looks kind of like Guoba, doesn't it? Huh? I know who Guoba is, by the way, but... Guoba? Not really. Is he the magical creature at Wanmin Restaurant? Now that you mention it, it does look quite similar. Hey, it's the little bear guy that's with, uh, what's her name? Man, I can't remember her name right now. Uh, to be honest, even Paimon isn't so sure this can take us to the island after all. Hmm. I see, I see. Only by meeting the lowliest of ends can we arrive at the Imanakreish born anew. Hmm. Oh, behold, the doorway cloven by thundering retribution. By such means as I once descended into this realm to bring retribution, do I now venture into the next. Come, Oz, lead the way. I will enter first. Main Fräulein need not worry. So all we needed to hear there was just lead the way, Oz. He's in. And now he's gone! Why, this truly huh. is the path of retribution that leads to the Promised Land. Uh, maybe I should just do a quick reading for safety. What is it, teleport people? Lady Magistus, it's fine. This is Alice's creation. It's totally safe. Spare yourself the trouble. Just come with us. All right, I completely forgot. <sighs> All right. Okay, then. Let's enter, I guess. What What's going on? Everyone exchanges glances before, one by one, stepping nervously but excitedly into the Dodo Fortress. The journey is an eventful one, and maybe a little it's crowded? It's so dark in here. Um, can someone turn on a light? Ugh. Hey, quit pushing! Come on now, let's all try and stick. Ow! Fischl, you're treading on my hair! Is it gonna blast off like a rocket? I thought it was a snake! I thought it was like a teleportation device before, but now I'm not so sure. Ah! We're flying! Everyone, be careful. 
Okay, it is flying. Although, are they going to show it flying, or are they just going to tell us that it's flying? Seems like they're just telling us. Ah. <laughs> we finally landed. What was that all about? Hmm. It's been a what while. A beautiful place. The wind is soft and the ocean is calm. And a pleasant scent blows on the breeze. So I wonder if uh, I'm going to have to like reactivate all the little teleporters and stuff across the island. Okay. Yep. Paimon's feeling way better already now that we can see the ocean. I also wonder if there are going to be more islands that we can raise. <gasps> An ocean of life. And a land filled with flora. Main Fräulein, we have finally arrived at the promised land, whence we shall revive the Imanakreish. Oh, faithful retainers, this is the blessed paradise that one has been searching for. Here is where we shall witness the culmination of all things. I, who command the darkness, shall lead you to yonder gate of dreams. Okay. <clears throat> Shall lead you to yonder gate of dreams. <sighs> your Archmage Magistus thanks you for your kindness, Your Highness. In this moment, I offer my blessings to the Emmernachreich. Mona, what are you... Uh... Uh, she's playing along, of course. Mona, don't ask. Just follow my lead. Oh, oh, right. <clears throat> Praise be to the Princessin, who has led us here to this sacred place. My sincere gratitude to you for inviting me to join you on this trip, Your Highness. <laughs> Your happiness gladdens one's heart. <sighs> How it delights me to bring us all together here at this most monumentally fateful of moments. Now, as I take my first step on this pilgrimage, I shall perceive this ocean of life with my own earthly vessel. After all, this is where my soul belongs. Okay. On the contrary, Lady Magistus, blessed as you are with the great power of Hydro, one yet finds too many impurities in thy soul. Mm -mm -mm. Main Fräulein hmm. means Lady Magistus is perhaps not the most talented swimmer. Oh, uh. official? That's enough. Isn't she capable of, like, running on water? I, I think I have her, and her charge, the like, her dash animation actually allows her to go right over water. I'm happy enough to join in with the play acting without complaining, but how dare you ridicule my genius? Think you can swim better than me? Ha! I'll bring you to your knees, young lady! Oh my, main Fräulein! Steal yourself, main Fräulein! Uh huh. Oh yeah! Swimming race! Swimming race! Whoever comes in last is a rotten egg! Challenge accepted! Heed my words, lowly Lady Magistus! You shall pay for your foolishness for as long as you live! Ridiculous! I've never lost a single swimming race in my life! Bring it on! First so, one to run to the beach wins! Is this gonna be like a minigame? That we can participate in? Who knows? Are they serious running? I thought they were gonna swim. Who knows? At this point. Never mind. Looks like they're enjoying this. I take it you have no present plans. I want to start by surveying the area first. Want to come along? Oh, Kasa, it's good we can count on you. Shinyan, are you coming? Seems like everyone's got things to do. I'll stay here and hold down the fort for now. Mona and Fish will have gone swimming, and someone's got to set up camp. Don't worry, I got this. You're going to take a look around, right? Well, make sure you let me know if there are any good views. Thanks. Okay. Will do. So, they want us to go somewhere off this yeah. island, all the way up here. And yeah, we do have to, like, redo just about everything, don't we? Uh, 
obviously none of the treasure compasses work here. Let's talk to some of the characters and as I explore this island. So I'll talk to her okay. first. Okay, I'll start by catching 10 crabs and 20 fish. Huh. Will that be enough for all of us? Uh, maybe I should prepare something else. Okay. I wonder if there are any tasks that I'm supposed to complete while I'm here. Uh, probably as part of this. Phantasmal conches collected. Oh yeah, I, I vaguely recall those. So as you collect these, you can work towards getting a new outfit for uh, Fischl. And what's this? I don't have the phantasmal conches yet for that. Or this, okay. Um, and then, is there anything related to this? Nah, I think this is just part of the active quest that I'm currently on. So, let's grab anything I see along the way. Ooh, swimming race that must have a result today. Archmage Majestus versus Fischl, uh, the Presenzen Dead for, or whatever. Blah. Okay. I think that Fischl and Mona are probably somewhere over there. I wonder if I should summon the Wave Rider and kind of sail around the island a little bit because it might be faster in some ways. Although I'm getting stuck on the sand. Get, get me out of here. What? Stupid thing. Oh, what's that? What is that? Oh, there's some enemies near it, too. I wasn't expecting this. Okay, let's beat him up. And why are... Why is there, like, a painting there? Is that, uh... Something from Albedo? I think it is. Gimme. Today is a lucky day. I'm pretty sure that this is related to Albedo in some way. Let's, uh... Now I think about it. Didn't I get something else as well? From, uh, Venti? I guess it's not a gadget, so I can't use it at the moment. Anyways, I am not seeing either Fischl or Mona right now. It's a little bit bizarre to me. Let's go up to the center of the island and look around a little bit. Uh, they're not anywhere. I see Xinyan down there. Okay, you know what? Never mind. I wonder what this is about. Can I shoot an arrow through it? Maybe that does something? No? Maybe it has to be a certain element? No, nah, I don't think so. I'll have to mark this down and remember it for later. Okay, so the plan is that I'm going to head down here to uh, this and then over this, you know, make my way over to this island. I'll probably be stopping once I get to that island. Uh, just because of how long I know it's going to take to sail over there. Just going to mark that thing down right over there. I think that that's like the general area of where it was. Oh, there's some uh, hilly churl platforms out there. Along with a treasure chest on it. I'll get that very fast. I like the music here. Very nice music. Of course, it's going to be switched out with the battle music here in a second. At least I think so. Oh, maybe not. Oh. Okay, there we go. Brace yourself. May as well freeze these guys. Claim my prize. Give me everything. Okay, good. I gotta go collect the, uh, loot drops as well. Okay, all the loot has been collected. I'm still heading towards this island. So, I know that there are, like, those little areas out there as well, but I'm gonna ignore those for now. I'll come back to them at a later time. So, what's going on with this one? Ah, yes. There was a puzzle here a long while back. Wasn't there. I opened up the area down here at the time. There's nothing down here right now, though, from what I can tell. Um, how am I supposed to get back out? Oh, here we are. 
Uh, I was starting to wonder. I was like, I have no idea how to get back out. And turns out that there was a way. Uh, this place is going down pretty far. Uh, a little bit too far for my liking right now. What in the world, man? Oh, wait. Okay, never mind. I thought that went down even further. So, where's the exit here? This place is kind of like a maze. I feel like, uh, yeah, there's nothing in here. Okay, what's going on? Why the, why the dead end? Okay, you know what? I may actually have to teleport to get out of here because I am not able to find an exit. I have no idea where an exit is supposed to be. Um, so I guess I'll sail back over to this island and not jump into the hole the next time. Okay, we're back here. And honestly, I have no idea if there's going to be anything on this island. Especially after what just happened with that area down below. There was nothing down there. I couldn't find any way of uh, getting back out, so whatever. I'm thinking there's nothing other than this, you know, thing right here that summons the Wave Rider. So let's go over to this little island, which is close by. And see if there's anything in here. From the looks of it, there isn't. Which kind of making me wonder, is something going to change that makes it so that there's suddenly new stuff? You know, after I uh, advance the plot a little bit. Who knows? Um, probably. Because I remember that's kind of like how it worked originally with, the, with this place. Where... You start off with, like, just a couple pieces of land, and then each time you did something, new stuff was added. And, wow, this is a pretty big a little island over here. Forgot that they designed them like this. Wonder if there are any en enemies on this particular one. Doesn't seem like it so far. So far, I am not seeing anything. Not, not any hilly churls, not any puzzles. Hmm, makes me wonder if I'm really not supposed to be here right now. I think I see something all the way up there, though. Oh, you know what that probably is? I think it's probably dandelions. But this might be something. Collect all the, the vegetables. Nothing? Okay, never mind. Let's uh, activate this teleporter here. Why is this all the way in the water? Okay, that's why, because it floats back up. Um, I wonder if I should try to get all the way up there. Or even all the way up there. Probably not. Uh, that said, there is this thing right here that I saw glowing. I was wondering if it might be dandelion seeds, and it was. Okay, yeah, I'm starting to think that this entire island is currently empty of, uh, stuff to do. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna be, uh, stopping for right now. In the next video, I'm gonna be you know, go into these teleporters one by one before making my way up to that, uh, you know, story quest icon. And then, uh, you know, hopefully make some decent progress on everything. So, uh, yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.